Oh shit, it's now night time. Oh no. <laughs> uh, can I fix this? Let there be sun. Woo. It looks a little different. But yeah, now we got water, which means now I can lower the bridge. Oh, woo. Hopefully, maybe. I know what I'm doing. Jump. <laughs> yeah, we got water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there you are. Hello. <laughs> At last, the time is near. Binkai, the fisherman, monk, shall lay claim to his one thousandth sword. Wandering warrior. Monk, Benkai, I have traveled far and wide, challenging Master Swordsman. In 999 swords have I claimed by my own hands. But now that I have defeated all who would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more to make 1,000. And thus, aimlessly, I have wandered. That is, until a legend drew me to Cyan City. It is said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. Okay, carry on. Have you heard the legends about the Lake Biwa? No. Tell me. Even I could barely uh, believe it when I first heard as I yawn. God, your story. Right. Yeah, that's horribly rude. Never do that to somebody. But they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition to my 1,000 swords. This bridge is a very special contraption. That's a nice segue into how the bridge works. With one command, I can make a pot passable and another impassable. As you see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off s uh, access to the city, but I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Of course, that may be easier said than done. Do you need me help? This is no mere fistic trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. Therefore, I must arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod over there at the pool at the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It is the purest of white while new fallen snow. Or like new fallen snow, I mean. There is no chance of victory without that rod. Alas, it would appear that I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I to do? I have to buy something? Oh my god. I actually get to use the copious amounts of money I've amassed throughout this game. Woo! Um... I'm supposed to go to a place where I can buy a fishing rod. Fishing rod. Um. Hello. Oh, this is terrible. The water dragon is causing so much trouble out in the sea. It's gotten to the point where I can't procure any goods to sell. There used to be tons of fish both in Rojima and here in the city. But the wire dragon's antics have scared them away. Okay. Alright. Uh. Fishing rod combining the purity of snow and the spirit of work. I'm pretty sure this is it. I'll get the one sold. I'll get this one for, you know, just in case. This red. Uh, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give five. Yeah. Should just gotten four. Made it even ten, but no one cares. I care. I'm the only one who cares. Ah, I was dumped into the war. Fifty-fifty chance I got the rod you're looking for. One of them is blue, the other is uh, white. I think you mentioned you wanted a white sword, or white as snow. Wait, no, purity of snow. And it's also white. 
There's no mere fishing trip. Da da da. The living sword. I must therefore arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod over there. The tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. I have it. There's no chance of victory. Alas, I've, I've. Oh, what am I to do? Hmm. Herm. Th -th -th that's. That's. Blinding snow! The rod from the tool dealer! It's almost as if you already told me this! With that fine rod... Oh, alas, I have a chance against that living sword. Oh god, it sounds like it's about to rain again. Oh no. Now be a good doggy and give it here. No. Nah. Might as well. Oh, happy day. I have never fished before. Wait. It should not be much different from a good sword fight. Now, to catch that 100, or that 1,000 sword, I shall engage in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. Do I, do I help? I've been holding my rod over this water for some time now. Cover the living sword has yet to bite. But, you know what they say, patience is a virtue. Do you not have any fishing line attached to it? I shall sit here as long as it takes. Emmy. Hood here, here is never gonna let us across that uh, at this rate. Time for some of that angling magic of yours. Show him how you do it. Fish that living sword out of this lake. Sure. Bah. Humbug. Hood head sure is a handful. I wonder if there's really, or if there really is such a thing as a living sword anyway. Sure there is. Look at me, you got the basic idea, right? Draw a line for the da da da. You got the basic idea, that's great. I'll draw a line from here to this fish. I think I hooked something. Go for it! Go this way. Come on, fishy. Come on! Almost! There we go. And we do a slice. Woo! Fish! I got smelt. Uh, if this is anything like last time, I have to keep catching random ass fish. Don't get away from me, go for it. Oh, oh, it was already close enough. Ah! Woo! Yay, another smelt. Oh, big ass fish! Oh, whoops. It's so far away. We won't get away this time. Go for it. It's so far away. Oh jeez. Wow, wow. This one this one's this one's not an easy one to get. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I have to I, okay, well. Come on, I'm doing it. Stop. <laughs> that drains so slowly. Whoa, what the heck? I have to do this so much. Come on, Mr. Fisherman. Come on, Mr. Fisherman! Woo! You caught the Cutlass Fish, the Living Sword. The gods be praised! At last! At last, I have fulfilled my dream! Yay, I'm so proud! So that is the living sword. That is what I have been pursuing all this time. Oh, don't take it so hard. I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. And a cutlass fit cutlass is a kind of sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in the lake? Spare me such a, a solace, but enough about that. A monk never goes back on his word. As we make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. F 
fascinating. All he all he did was sit on it, and it became passable. Oh no! Whoa! Stop, Emmy! I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains. So what's that uh, stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Let's keep going, Furball. Already was. Oh man! Oh, it's Waka. Hey, what's up? Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, Mushery? Ack! Not you again. Well, you can't fool us. We're not gonna forget uh, what you did to us back at Orochi's cave. Why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm. Excuse me, but I have no time to follow you around. I just bumped my ankle and it hurt. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Bah, humbug. Some prophet you are. Shouldn't you already know where you were to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is, it's just... Getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? Not bad. But, my little bouncing friend, you're only half wrong. I seek the other world. I desire a path to the heavens. A path to the heavens? Oh, stop beating around the bush and let us know what you're, what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, Mushri. Huh? Yes? Yes, it is quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments its people. You think we're stupid? We see right through you, pretty boy. Ha! We get you all figured out. This funky mist and your so-called path through the heavens. You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. It's slowly but surely killing the people of the city. Wait too long. And it's a revere to the damage uh, will already be done. Why, you? Talking about it like it's someone else's problem? You're behind it all, admit it already. Even if it was, even if I was, what good would come out of arguing about it here? Methinks you should be doing something about the mists now. How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones. Ahem. Let me put it this way. Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Or something like that. Understand, Ma Shuri. Sure. Uh. Oh. Can I not go in? I'm gonna try anyways. Oh, I went in. Hello. Well. Who'd have thought there'd be a wolf in here, of all places? The world is in turmoil. Have you come to listen to one of my sermons, Wolf? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rao. I'm the regent of Cyan City, appointed by Ki King Queen Himiko herself. Oh my. Breeze's row. So, what's troubling you then? Holy cow, the sister stacked! <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. But thank you, Isun. Excuse me. Oh, you've got a cute little fair, uh, fairy with you. The name's Isun! And by the way, it only looks like I'm staring at your melons. Melons? Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, so you're running around, uh, running things around here. Well, there's a funky mist covering the city. 
And there's talk of a water dragon or something offshore? So, what's up with the queen holding herself up in her palace? The people of her city are dropping like flies, you know. How can she be so lazy at a time like this? So you've sensed the evil forces over Ryojima too, then? I heard that dreaded Orochi was uh, resurrected in Shinshu Field. Though a brave swordsman vanquished him again. The ripples of this wave of those waves of chaos are reaching Ryoshima too. The water dragon terrorizes the sea, and an ill mist covers Cyan. And in those last few days, the situation has intensified. I don't know what's happening to the to our peaceful Nippon. Yes, she said something about waves of chaos growing stronger recently. Hmm. Creepy Shadow did carry off, um, uh, did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. Wonder if whatever it was took root here in Ryoshima Coast. What are you muttering about, Isun? Well, this will no doubt come as quite a shock, but the Great Slayer of the dreaded Orochi is right before your eyes. Behold the Great Armaturasu! What? This wolf? But. I heard it was a swordsman called Susano. Huh? Oh, uh, well, he may have built the foul blow. But Emmy here did most of the work, I tell ya. And if you don't believe me, Emmy's gonna show us some divine powers right here, right now. When will I see your friend's divine powers, Zenisu? You want it? You got it, sister. Come on, Emmy. Sure, one of your celestial rust techniques. And we'll make some wind. What was that? You like it? That was one of Abaturasu's divine powers. A mere taste of what the celestial brush could do. Celestial brush? What a mysterious and fearsome power you wield, Abaturasu. You got that right, sister. There ain't nothing Abitur or Ami can't do. Maybe this wolf. Maybe this wolf could help me with my quest. Your quest? What more could you want? You're already stacked uh, to the ceiling. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Now that I've lost my prayer slips, the situation is completely hopeless. Prayer slips, you say? Found land of the gods. And then we open up these one. I've an exorcism slip. Uh, oh, and a save point. Look at that just appear out of freaking nowhere. Uh, 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 this one. Away! Uh, so, wait, where am I now? Oh, am I on the other side of it? I, I suppose. What's on this side now? Is this Himiko's place? Hello, excuse me, oh. Oh, I skipped the first part of dialogue, I'm sorry. She's in her palace at the moment, praying for the city. I'm under orders not to let anyone disturb her. And I say quarter seriously, so that means you too much. Rude. Um. Hmm. So wait, where does this go? There's a portal. Oh. Oh, is that the origin of the mist? There's a lot of mist coming through that portal. Ah, I just hit the table. Oh no. Loud noises. Oh. A hole! That must be the hole that was mentioned. Pissed. 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 <laughs> Can you hear me? What? We're supposed to be on duty. Well, it's just I wanted to ask you something. Um what's your opinion on this on his highness? What do you mean? Surely you're not doubting the worth of the of our honorable emperor. 
True, he's had to take to uh had to take to his bed because of his strange illness. But I'm full of hope that he'll soon make a speedy recovery. And I am too, of course. But there's something about his strange illness that bothers me. That swirling mist is a little out of the ordinary, don't you think? No. It's fine. It's a natural outcome. The moment the Emperor took ill, it started to come from his room. And then before we knew it, it had taken over the whole city. People are currently, or really starting, to suffer from it too. Well, don't you think it's a, or it's all a bit of a coincidence? It's definitely odd. I'll grant you that. But it's no use trying to ask your, his highness how he feels. He just sends everyone away and he won't even see a doctor. So I don't see that there's anything we can do about it. But what about that girl locked up in the cell all alone? She shouldn't be locked up like that. She's done nothing wrong. You don't mean that girl called Kaguya? Right? Hmm. Orders are orders. So we had no choice but to lock her up. But I can't quite see why His Highness wanted us to do it. The city's in a real mess ever since he took ill like this. I wonder what's going on inside the palace. Well, we'll find out through this hole in the wall. Oh. Hmm? Check out these slips of paper. Looks like each one has a spell or something on it, but I have no idea how to use them. Don't think they'll do do as much good. I'll go get them anyways. I'm gonna take them. I'm taking them. Here we go. I'm Drasu. Away. Woo. These are probably what I need to present to uh, Rao, who is around here somewhere. Oh, she's in that building. All right. I briefly forgot where I went, how I got here, and what I did. That's good. That bodes well. That bodes well for my memory, my sen my, <laughs> my, my awareness of where I am in my situation. <laughs> Hello, I've come bearing... Oh, my. What have you... My prayer slips! You found them in this huge city? They weren't that hard to find. Thank you, they're indis uh, indispensable in my fight against the evil beings. I was sure one of them had stolen them from me. Thank goodness. Yes, your ability to sniff things out really is a divine power. Your name's Amaterasu, correct, Wolf? Well, Amaterasu, would you put your powers to use for us? Hmm. You saying we're the answer to your prayers. I'm saying you are our only hope. As you have seen, Yoshima Coast is in turmoil. All because of the evil rising from the darkness. Because of the forces of darkness. Forces of darkness? Yes. Next to them, the monsters out there in the, war in the wild are nothing. They're starting to spread over Yoshima Coast. And with Queen Himiko confined to her palace, it all fall falls to me. Normally, I'd use my holy powers to dispel many threats to the village, or to the city. But this foe is too strong for me, so I have no choice but to ask this favor. Lend me your power. So, that means we'd end up helping Himiko after all? I don't know, sounds kind of fishy to me. There are some who think the queen is a coward to shut herself away, but she cares for her subjects. She's praying for our protection. But even she can't calm the water dragon and exorcise the city. Not without that sacred treasure to enhance her holy power. That's what I want you to help me find. Please don't trust us. Let me ask you once again. Will you have to listen to, listen to what she has to say? Go. Ah, what the heck? Let's hear what the stacked babe has to say. E soon. Stacked. <laughs> Stacked? Anyway, when you come here, or came here to the city, did you see it? Right off the coast, near the Ryushima border, there lies a sunken sh uh, treasure ship. 
a victim of the water dragon rampage. That ship has a tr or was a trading vessel working between here and the by road. Or here and abroad, I mean. It was transporting a great treasure ordered by Queen Himiko. But the water dragon attacked every ship in the water. It sunk the ship and its precious cargo right in front of the port. Vox rods that the queen had finally managed to locate. A matchless treasure the, uh, with the power to defeat any foe. Uh, would have been Cyan City's... No, Nippon's greatest asset. I am Nippon's greatest asset. <laughs> if we had the fox rods now, we could drive out the evil beings. I'm Trasu. Will you come to the treasure ship with me and help me search its cargo? You want us to do what? Well, I'll do that. I'll help you do the thing that you want me to do. Because I'm here. Mom Trasu. I'm the best. Uh, this is where I saved. Alright, cool. I'll call it a day, though. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, if you want to see more, please press that subscribe button. Also, remember to press the bell for all notifications because I upload twice a day. Also, make sure to like and share favorite. I'll do another show called Couch Duo with a good friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, that uploads every day, too. Next time, I'm going to go help. I'm going to help. The priestess find the thing in the sunken ship. And we'll see what happens next. Yay! I'm trust you. Oh, woo! Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Woo! Ah.